benefit of mankind and who saved us from the horsemen of death. Dorian, you are so impressive, so gorgeous. I am falling in love with you. Oh. Lanark, my surreal delight. I can now see your soft, gem-like flame. Your sweet nature has touched a chord which vibrates and throbs to curious pulses. <laughs> Such feelings I have now I only ever felt for my dead sweetheart, the most wonderful actress, Sybil Vane. Lanark, I am making the ultimate sacrifice of my perfect status. I am allowing myself to let you have my love. Unbelievable. <laughs> the sublime escape from the clutches of death was replaced with the ridiculous sight of two lovebirds cooing. I can't believe it. Dorian Gray and Lanark have fallen in love. Is this the end to a melodramatic love story? Will this never end? Dear, you you killed Sybil Vane. You horrible, eager, self-serving, shallow, hollow idol of a man. For that I can forgive you. No, but true love must be unselfish, and therefore I cannot love you as, as that would be selfish. <gasps> we must part. My oh. fatal beauty and my selfish charm are curses that have undone me. Have undone me. I must add that to my poem. Well, I'm afraid Mr. Gray is out of luck. I can never consider him my equal now. Recalling the callous destruction of a love-struck woman by Mr. Gray is a sobering experience. Yet I cannot be selfish and deny the rest of the world the hope of his perfect love. We are finished, even as we begin. What a sacrifice! Yes. The only way to get rid of love, uh, to get rid of temptation, is to yield to it. And having done so, I have lost the second, third, or fourth love of my life for the sake of my unselfish love. This is a heartbreaking scene! Well, perhaps now you know how Sybil's name felt. Sybil Vane. I did love her so madly, and I do humbly beg forgiveness for her death. I did put my sensational love of the art beautiful before the joy of human love and companionship. I broke her heart because she loved and sacrificed her art for me. I acted the part of the heinous fiend. I am sacrificing my love for you as a small act of revenge for literary womankind by withdrawing my love. I am punishing you for your selfish character and its destructive consequences. You killed Sybil Vane for art's sake. It's true. And art has made me suffer terribly since. But how can I ever repay my debts to humanity? Here, Duncan. <clears throat> you deserve the lily. You have been a hero. Thank you, Dory. Thank you. I can see his torment, his everlasting heartbreak, but I can see it will only add tasteless texture to his literary status. Duncan, all throughout your scepticism has irritated me, but I can see the sense of it now. I was too earnest about him. His, his looks and his charm filled me with a wild, unfamiliar happiness and an overwhelming physical attraction. My love blinded me, and I gave in to the importance of being earnest. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Lanark, for you saw, but you did not observe. And yet, Dorian has done something unexpected to me. His intensity of experience and talk of the beauty has opened a whole new world of sensations, tastes and flavours to which I could barely understand until now. <laughs> Truly, I understand the meaning of the lily now. 